I normally end up getting the bride into her dress, okay? And she has this whole idea that mum is going to help her. But mum mm. is shaking or she might have false nails on that she's not used to. And I'm like, I'll do it. So I'm calm. I'm, I'm under the dress half the time. Um, and there was this particular dress. Suzanne Jackson had, um, when I was photographing her wedding, she had like a, a train on her dress that just kind of hooked around at the front. So this particular bride that I was photographing last year, she had one of those. And I just wasn't comfortable with the way the hook was. I just thought that's not very tight. Mm. So I said it to the bride, oh, you know, will I put a little needle and thread in that? And she said, no, no, it's fine. And I said, are you sure? She said, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so she rocks up to the church, the window and the car goes down. She's like, Jenny! I said, did it break? And she said, yes, <laughs> it did. And I said, okay, so come on out. Oh. Mm. I said, calm down. So I took her around to the side of the church and I stitched her into the dress. But if I hadn't have had a needle and thread in the bag, she would have had to walk up the aisle with no train. And that would have been a disaster. Oh, 